Now, let's go over to the Mastercraft Kitchen and check in with our extremely talented stand-in chef, Tim Reid. How you doing? Yeah, we are good, good, Tim. We're pleased you came back. <laughs> it's good to be back. Have a good first day. Yeah, yeah. I think we managed to get through it and yeah. everyone you got fed. You didn't pie. break anything. It was good. No, yeah. You're right. <laughs> okay, what's on the menu today? Right, today we're doing chocolate tart. Uh, three key ingredients. We've got some pastry, some nice dark chocolate, 72%. I don't like my desserts too sweet. Uh, and then just cream and milk. It really is that simple. First and foremost, though, we need to get this tart ready uh, by using a little bit of pastry. So, I'm just going to butter the tart dish. Right. What's the 72% uh, chocolate? How do you? What's the rationale behind that? Oh, okay. So, uh, if we use milk chocolate, then everything's going to be really sweet. Right. So, by using dark chocolate, what that means is uh, is that we, it's going to have the slight bitterness, but we've got the sugar and the cream, and it's not going to be too rich. And we've got some yogurt for mum rather than using a bit more cream. Oh, nice. Good work. Thank <laughs> you. Cow food. Yeah. <laughs> Practically. All right. So, I'm just going to whack this pastry into here, patch it up. But I'll do that and I'll shoot back to you and you come see me later. Day two with Tim and he's generously let me back into the kitchen <laughs> despite all that he's been told about my useless cooking skills. So I'm pleased you're doing it. Um, today we're making a chocolate tart. Remember all the recipes at thecafe.co.nz. So whereabouts are we up to with the tart? Where do we get to? Well, we've, I've lined the tart dish here yep. uh, with some pastry that's been sitting in the freezer. Okay. Uh, and now we're just about to blind bake, which people get scared about, but it just means that the pastry needs longer to cook in the oven, so we need to cook that separately a little bit first, and then we'll fill it with the filling. Okay, sweet. So you can get on with that, and while you're doing that, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. All right. Why did you put that in the freezer once you had lined the tin? Well, short crust pastry has a high butter content. Okay. Um, and so the high butter content means that if we don't do that, then it has a tendency to run everywhere uh, and get a little bit out of shape while we bake it. And so okay. you just want to set the shape a little bit. Okay, and what are you doing now? Well, so we don't have baking beads here, but a wee trick that you can use is to fill a pastry dish with rice. Okay, and what... so I was thinking a tart with rice? Yeah, oh, I'm not sure yeah. what's going on here. Okay, I shouldn't I have let you sense. in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sweet. So that's a little tip you've got. Yeah, and so what that does is that just weights everything down okay. and so that the pastry doesn't puff up too much because we need to be able to fill the pastry. Nice. Yeah, so that's going to go into the oven. Nice, okay, cool. But, Magic and TV. Yes. We you did prepared one, one earlier. <laughs> look nice. at us go. All right. Okay, perfect. So that's what it should look like, slightly golden, mm -hmm. um, and that's good to go. Now we've got to get into our filling. Okay, sweet. And this is where you're going to do some work. Okay, nice. <laughs> so you can not You can overbake the tart base, can't you? Yes, you can, okay, cool. because we're going to bake that again. Okay, uh, sweet. And so you, you're almost half got cooking to watch it. it. Yeah. Okay, All right. sweet. So we've got uh, dark chocolate in there, yep. and I've crushed it up. That helps it melt quicker. Yep. All right. Then we've got some nice cream. Oh, this is looking delicious. Yeah, it's not one uh, if you're watching your waistline. Okay. Lucky we're not. We're not? <laughs> no, I'm I don't not. care. Yeah, yeah okay. Right. right into the food. <laughs> yeah. okay, a little bit of milk. Milk, cream and the dark chocolate. Can you burn the chocolate? Uh, yeah, you, so you don't want to leave it too long just on the element by itself. Okay. A little bit of sugar, all yes. right, because the bitterness of the dark chocolate. Sweeten then, it up. Yep. And then we've got a tablespoon of instant coffee. I thought that was coffee. Yeah. Now, that might sound weird, but actually coffee helps to bring out the flavour of chocolate. Um, and so that's just going to dissolve in there. You're not going to taste coffee. If you don't like coffee, still put it in. Trust me. OK, uh, we will. Yeah, yeah. You won't taste it. And now this is where you're going to do your job. Am I going to whisk away, yeah, am basically. I? Okay, yeah. cool. Right, okay. Whisking, <laughs> I'm just going to stand mashing and... and whisking. Yeah. Oh, it's supposed to be the other way around. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what we're doing there is we're just allowing everything to combine and melt together. It smells incredible. Yeah, yeah, and it'll start it'll continue to as that chocolate continues to melt. Could your cream split if you don't watch it? Yeah, be good. There. So you don't want to heat it too much, and you definitely don't want to bring it to the boil, all okay. right? Um, because you do have milk and, as you say, cream in there, and so if we bring it to the boil, then when you set it, it starts to get a little bit funny, and so you want to try and avoid boiling it. We've got it on a really low heat here. Um, but you'll start to notice already that's going quite nice and dark brown. Where do you get your inspiration from for your recipes? Because obviously you can just Google chocolate tart, but yeah. you're doing it your way, so yes. what inspired you for it? Uh, I had a chocolate tart once, yeah. I really enjoyed it, and so I thought, oh, I can, I can right. probably do that. And so I, I grabbed different recipes, have a read through a few different things. Um, this is quite similar to a ganache. Okay. Uh, and so we're basically just making a ganache. We'll add a few eggs in once this is cooled down. If we were to add the eggs in now, 
the liquid's getting too hot, we'll get scrambled, scrambled eggs. eggs. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, okay. uh, so you're doing the right thing. We're going to let that cool slightly, add the eggs in, and then we'll chuck it in the tart. Am I doing all right? Is this about yeah, right? you're looking really good. How do you know when it's done? Well, you'll see the you've got little split bits of chocolate in yep. the cream there. Uh, once that's nice and uh, combined, you, you'll lose those little flecks of, of chocolate. Awesome. And that's when you know you're done and you're able to let it cool. Okay, nice. Well, the recipe, as I said, the cafe.co.nz. All our recipes are here if you missed yesterday's one, which was the cottage pie. We'll come back and finish off the tart very soon. It's over to you, Mel. Now let's head over to the Mastercraft kitchen where Tim is serving up his chocolate tart. Yum! Yum. Okay, Tim, how are you going? Yeah, very good, thank you. So all I did at the end there uh, when you left, Mike, was add in those eggs. Yep. All right. And now... And uh, now oh, we'll look. bake that for 15 <gasps> minutes. Hey. And we have a beautiful dark chocolate tart. Is that all it took, 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Okay, and then we've just good. let it set in the fridge a little bit. Usually yep. we'd leave it to set out on the bench. Oh, but, and a right. piece each. Perfect. Piece nice. each. Bit of yogurt. <gasps> That's a healthy bit. That's the healthy bit. Yogurt and dark right. chocolate. It's great. Uh, yogurt yogurt. Food. Good work. Okay, oh, it smells man. and looks delicious. I'll have some in just a minute. But first, what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we're doing quiche with bacon and kale.